Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. So in this video we can continue notice board inside a parent side. Last few video I will show you notice board in a student side, parent side and uh, admin side. Sorry, student side, teacher side and admin side. So in this video we can do like a parent side. After this module we can complete and we can start a new module about the send a SMS means a send a email to specific users. So let's finish. Uh, teach parent side and we can show you how we can made it i am doing all things is a copy paste work so please carefully watch same like we did inside a teacher side so just i need to log in is a parents account and here is showing the message to is a parents so just we need to show all the parents okay so right now is a two message there here so is only two title we can show and also publishing date wise so let's log in as a parents and uh, we can show you how to made so i just copy i log out now and I just one, two, three, four, five, six. And here I can create a new menu. Same like my notice board. So just go to views and just you need to go to parents. Otherwise, you need to go to layouts. Whatever do you want to sorry, layouts inside you need to go added.blade.php. And let's make some zoom outs and just go down. So I can copy for the teachers. Whatever do you want to like? You can copy like a you can copy as a admin also you need to copy as a like students so here is there my notice board let's copy this one and just go to parent side this is the three means the student and the fourth means is like a parents so here is showing the parents so let's add after change password otherwise after my students so I just put like a my notice board and I can change here teacher to parents and also this is the like my notice board here there is inside segment so active class work very well so no issue okay so let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it new menu you can find out here my notice board so here I will click so this route not found so let's create for this URL so just copy this URL go to routes inside need to go web and just go down and just paste here and here you can copy for the communicate controller inside whatever there and just paste here and here you can change and here also you can change like a uh, my notice board student so you just you can change my notice board parent okay let's go to communicate controller i use go to definition so i can go quickly otherwise you need to go app http controller inside communicate controller just go down and here you can make a comment teacher sorry parent side work and just copy above line teacher one and just paste and here you can change and also you can change bottom path like a student to teacher to parents and here we need to create a new file my notice board we have already passed here like a user id so user id means user type so user type again we can get the data inside a message to we have already done like a all thing suppose do you want to watch like last few videos so you can easily understand what i did suppose i will explain again and again so it's not you nobody can like this reasons so i think we have done last video few last few videos how it's work so just i am copy paste work so is a parent set done okay so this is the message and also we have passed like a message to here this reason here getting the data so let's create a parents inside one file my notice board blade.php so just go to parents inside create a new files and just save blade.php okay so let's go to teachers one otherwise you need to go like student one whatever do you want to like go to my notice board and just copy all the file and paste inside parent side okay i just go to here my notice boards just copy all the files and after i paste inside parent side just need to change like a here reset button path just you can type teacher to parents and I save this file and also I save these files so is everything's done let's go back and refresh the page so everything working very well so I think taking like two or three minutes I don't know taking like some minutes and it is a done let's I think five minutes maximum take and done you can see it like a two is there so I can search also so also work and also I make a reset so also work so notice board working very well no issue okay 
so parent side notice board is done so let's go to my students and we need to provide here another button like a notice board so parents know he is a student like what is the notice board for this student so let's create a new menu here notice board and you are click on this notice board so only you can find out for this student notice boards okay means is i think you need to create a, like a, is a regular one no need to go specific so is a my notice board and we can create a my student notice notice board we can just create a new routes here my student notice board so you can get a is a like a, is, is a like overall it is not like specific student wise work so i will login is a admin so message to means all the student so we need to show like a my student notice board we need to create two menu my notice board and my student notice board so let's make it now easily just go back again and copy this one and paste up and here you can change my student notice board and also you can change like my student notice board because just every student receive like whatever parents there is a received so let's create this routes and just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a new menu found my student notice board okay so i save means copy and i just go back and i just change the here routes my student my student notice board because we need to add a my student notice board parents because we need to show inside parent this reason so it is a simple work not a like big work so simply i can short out just copy above one and here we can copy and paste and i paste here and just your type pass like user type is equal to three because three means is a students and here we can create a new files my student notice boards okay so let's go to parents inside we need to create a new files blade dot php and just copy for this one like you we already copy before this one you can copy and paste here and just you can change the reset button my student notice board just you can change reset but reset buttons okay so now it's done okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it now just click on the my student notice board so this is the student can receive student can receive is like three notice board and here you can change like my notice boards to my student notice board and here you can no need to change everything is proper yes okay so it's good search student notice notice board it's like this you can type so look like better this is the main part otherwise no any main part you can see my student notice board and my notice board so is everything is clear because every student is the same notice board i can show you in admin side so you can easily understand local host php my admins and uh, sorry okay php local host schools.com also so i can log in as a admin here i can type like admin at the rate gmail.com okay just testing every data is a testing data is not real any data so just go to communicate and i go to notice board so here we are not discussing like specific parent specific student we are discussing about like uh, all the student so student student like a three notice board there here student student so same thing we need to show inside a parent side you can see it here and we have already used like a, a like a data tables database table inside you can i can show you inside go to like a notice board messages so you can see it like three means students two means parents three means is a students and fourth means a parents and two means the teachers and here you can see see notice boards okay so this notice board we can show concrete here is like a notice board id so this id again we are getting the data here like i can just select go to definition so you can see it otherwise you need to go so model inside you can see it like notice board models okay so here i have made like query and after i made a join query and join query after i made like a message too so here i am passing like a user type because you can see it like one parameter here there you can you can see it now so i think everything is clear do you have a question so please comment and next module we can continue like a send sms to specific user like here like email we need to send like i need to send email to teachers i need to send email for students i need to send email for a specific students 
so we can do it but i can show you how to use a select tool because select tool is a main part for this project so you can easily understand why i am doing the select tool so but do you want to search any student name so you can search inside a select box and you get the data and uh, i think so no issue so but do you have any issue so please let me know do you think i will not an issue so please comment and like the video and do you get an issue so please comment sorry about that i don't know what i speak right now so do you do you have an issue so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching